The fuck is wrong with you people? Of course I'm gonna review the new AFI. You think my giddy fanboy ass isn't gonna review a new AFI album? This is one of my favorite fucking bands of all time, so hell yeah I'm gonna give it the proper goddamn treatment. Hell, I'm such a fanboy, I even like the AFI albums that most people actually don't tend to like. Stuff like December Underground and Crash Love. I listen to every AFI side project too, you know, like Black Audio and Extremist, and I love those too. Hell, I'm even excited for Dream Car. Do half of you even know what Dream Car is without Googling it? No, no, guys, guys. I love AFI. I love how they mix things up with every album. I love the crazy ass risks they always take, and how blissfully dynamic and bombast their sound always seems to come out. And the new album is actually very disappointing. Ugh, guys, legit. I'm having some issues with this thing, and when my crazy fangirl ass can't get excited over an AFI album, you know it's got some issues. And I'm far from the only one who's having trouble fearing the old blood here, but unlike a lot of other people, this album actually had me nervous from the start. I mean, when the singles White Offering and Snowcats dropped, I wasn't impressed. I got around to hearing Get Hurt back when that released, and I still wasn't impressed. Aurelia was pretty okay, but not in any bold or exciting way. And look, when an album drops four singles and you can't get excited by any of them, that's usually a pretty bad sign. Hell, for AFI, that's a really bad sign. Their single game is usually so good. Remember the first time you heard Girls Not Grey, Leaving Song Part 2, I Hope You Suffer, Miss Murder? Holy shit, Miss Fucking Murder? This band is usually so good at punching you right in the face with their headliners and keeping you hanging around with stellar and interesting deep cuts, but this thing... Uh, honestly, I probably couldn't hum a single hook for you even if I tried. I've listened to this thing no less than four times now and I just can barely remember anything from it. Anything. Well, except we're barking in the wrong key. But don't push your luck here. I I only remember that because I've been playing a lot of Bloodborne. Goddamn fucking wolves and shit! The album just feels so limp and unenthusiastic. There isn't the same sweeping sense of bravado and heaviness that albums like Sing the Sorrow and Burials had, nor is there the sense of experimentation and moodiness of stuff like December Underground or Crash Love. All of the guitar parts, the drumming, the bass work, the keys. It's all just kind of there, and, you know, whatever. I mean, it's not bad, per se. Jade is doing some nicely arranged picking patterns here and there, and they add a nice dash of color to most of the tracks, but what's missing here are those huge triumphant solos that we love so much. And yeah, I know AFI isn't exactly Van Halen when it comes to that kind of guitar work, but I don't think the album has one. If it did have one, I can't fucking remember it, and that's a really bad sign. And Davey's vocals, while again not poor by any means, feel much more subdued and restrained than usual. I mean, fucking compare what he was doing on Burials next to this, and it's just so lifeless. Hell, compare this to what he was doing on Extremist and your fucking head might explode. I guess Davey must have spent all his shouty on those last two albums, because he's really not bringing it here. And Hunter and Adam's bass and drum work, one of the biggest factors in what makes AFI sound so goddamn transcendent are mixed awfully. They're doing some cool and catchy stuff, like they always do, but it feels like it's pushed way too far into the background. I can hardly make out most of Hunter's lines, and Adam's drums are really lacking their usual punch. Like, this legit bothered me, so much so that I did my research and discovered that the producer for this album was Jade. Yeah, this is also his first rodeo as a full producer too, at least with AFI, and people, it really shows. I mean, that's kind of what pushed this album over the edge from mediocre into actually bad. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever heard by any means. It's certainly a new and different take on the AFI sound, and there's 
going to be a Stripe of fan that will probably get a decent or even good amount of enjoyment from this album. But man, I am really not that Stripe. And while I would say this album is disappointing, it's not nearly as disappointing as, say, Hymns or Skeletons was. But after listening to this album for the review, I have little to no excitement to ever listen to it again, and yeah, my despair faction loving ass shouldn't be saying such heresy, but well, here we are, guys. The blood is tainted. The blood album gets two and a half bandages that really need changing out of five.